Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and greatest PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. Okay, the new talk of the town is absolutely this recent announcement, which is that Spectre Dev is going to be speaking at Hardware.io on a talk that is titled Hypervisor how we broke the PS5 hypervisor. So it says, although a kernel exploit for the PlayStation 5 has been public for years, the hypervisor-based security architecture has largely succeeded in preventing reverse engineering of the system and maintaining kernel integrity across all firmware versions until now. We will explore methods used to circumvent the hypervisor, enabling custom code execution and system library decryption. Additionally, we will reveal two previously undisclosed vulnerabilities in hypervisor firmware versions up to 2.50, which can be exploited for a full hypervisor compromise and the bypass of execute only memory protection. Furthermore, we will release scripts to assist in reverse engineering the system, which will be made publicly available following the presentation. Wow, wow, wow. That is a lot to unpack right there. But what you want to take out of this is, is that when this talk has been over, they are going to release the tools and the things that would be needed for others to help fully implement this on 2.50. Now, I said this or I speculated this in my very last video, and it's very good to know that this is coming true. It is going to be October the 21st and October the 25th. Always stay tuned to the channel here because I'll be covering this 100%. Okay, let's jump into some other news here. And it was BNet memes coming soon. BNet control, which I have no idea what this is. It's custom Sony code and not present in the existing free BSD systems. So it was found after I bindiffed 11.52 versus 12.00 could lead to something useful. And so there is a couple of the screenshots that was released in this. And there is another one that is just right over here that shows the changes between 11.52 and 12.00. So we'll have to see what kind of comes out of this. Then we had some news over here from Idle Sauce. And what they did was they released an all in one tool for self hosting the PlayStation 5 exploits. So if you scroll down into this, you can see that there is an HTTPS file server. It also automatically updates for served files. It comes with a DNS server, which, you know, would block all of the PlayStation domains that you don't want an offline Wi-Fi access point. Now, it looks like there's a couple of things you can do if you want to install this on Linux, or you can come over here to the releases here. And it looks like there's one for each version of Windows, OS X, and Linux. So if you do want to run those on Windows, just do keep in mind, you will need to turn off your security settings because those are always flagged by the virus protection. Moving right along, I did note that the PlayStation 5 remote jar loader that I just did a full tutorial video on hasn't been updated in the last couple of days, and that is exactly as expected. But one thing that I did see was, was that there was this note that they are refactoring it with the aims to eventually add kernel read write support. So right now, it doesn't do all of that, but you can go ahead and get access to things like an FTP server. And then there was a couple of other mini games that you could select from as well, such as this sample mini tennis game. Anyway, this is going to be great for those of you that has a Blu-ray burner, as the project is probably just going to get better after time. Then we have a quick update over here from Lappy. And this is for the Elden Ring mod tool 
for the very latest update, which just came out, which is 1.21. Obviously, if you use this tool right here, you can make Elden Ring a lot more playable on your system. And I did see this new tool that is called the PS5 PKG Creation Tool. And if you scroll down into this screenshot here, you can see there's this title ID, and then you can provide it an app name. And then basically you can change around this app shortcut to really do whatever that you would like for it to do. So this program, you can download it right here. And I do believe that the source code was included with this. And it looks like the source code is included. So yeah, just one of those kind of really cool projects that you want to kind of check out. I haven't downloaded it myself, but if you have and enjoyed it, maybe let me know in the comments. Is it worth me downloading and checking out? And then the last one that I have here is, is that I've had a number of people asking me how I got the web browser a package on my PlayStation 5. And the one that I'm using is just this one located right here. So if you do want to access the web browser similar to how I do in all my videos, this is the one that I'm typically using. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!